And thank you for staying with us this afternoon for Action News at 5. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Brian Abel. Right now, families are once again fully responsible for paying for school lunches unless they qualify for assistance. Yeah, that's a change from the past few years when a federal COVID relief program helped provide every student with breakfast and lunch regardless of income. But that program came to an end in July for schools across the country. It's a challenge for some paired with rising food costs. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham is in Livonia, where the school district there says no child will go hungry. Although the federal food waiver no longer applies, Livonia Public Schools says no child will go without a meal. In an email response to 7 Action News regarding the federal food waiver's discontinuation, the Livonia Public Schools school district said, quote, First, no student goes without a meal, and we are always here to work with families who need assistance in this process, end quote. The district says this email and other communication was sent to families ahead of the school year, letting them know the program Congress granted the last two school years during the pandemic was not extended this school year. The program allowed all students, regardless of their family's financial situation, to receive free breakfast and or lunch. Darcy Prychek, who has two children in the district, says fortunately she's able to keep them fed and their balances paid. Yes, I am very disappointed that they discontinued it. I understand there were limitations even when they assigned it, but I know how many kids benefited from the opportunity to have two meals a day. Now, if a student fails to pay their balance after the fourth time, the district says they'll receive an alternate breakfast and or lunch including graham crackers. And even those kids who are able to get that little graham cracker might not even claim it because they're afraid of how their peers are going to look upon them. The district says increased food costs has led them to increase regular meal prices by 25 cents, and milk is an additional 10 cents. However, reduced price meals remain the same. Families that cannot afford to pay their students' meal balance can apply for free or reduced lunch. However, one concern is some who need the assistance may not meet the requirements. There could be an unnecessary and unexpected medical debt that month or good heavens, long term medical problems in the family that may be draining finances. Some might be laid off and not everyone has a nest egg. The district reiterates it will work with families that need assistance to make sure no child goes without a meal. In Livonia, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.